Why junk silver? And why buy it now? I'm going to tell you the merits of constitutional silver and why I just bought a pile of it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Yes, I just purchased thousands of US dollars worth of constitutional silver. I'll tell you why in a few minutes, but for those of you a bit new to constitutional or junk silver, this right here is the only silver originally minted by the US government back when we knew what real money was. Back when our nation valued our US Constitution a lot more than it does now, frankly. Congress designated silver as the material for the very first US coin ever minted. It based its new dollar on the Spanish piaster, or pieces of eight, and took its name from a German coin called the Thaler. Thaler, dollar, see? The U.S. Coinage Act of 1792, which laid out the specifications for all of its new coins, became the standard for the constitutional silver we know today. What you see there was the composition of U.S. coins for nearly 200 years, all the way up to the Coinage Act of 1965, which removed most of the silver from our coins. Uh, let's see here. We have a Kennedy. Well, right here. <laughs> the uh, Kennedy half dollar. You, most of you know this, but it went from 90% silver to 40% silver. Other U.S. coins adopted the debased 75% copper and 25% nickel composite. Then in 1970, Congress pulled all the remaining silver out of the half dollars. Frankly, I think the junk is all the de-silvered coins, not to mention the de-coppered penny. Governments just love to debase their currencies, don't they? Anyway, most of us like to call it constitutional silver. We do that somewhat out of respect, mostly due to the fact that it honors Article 1, Section 10 of our Constitution, which reads, No state shall coin money, emit bills of credit, make anything but gold and silver a tender in payment of debts. So I use the terms constitutional silver, junk silver, which is the popular shorthand term, interchangeably. Okay, so, so don't get upset with Yankee, all right? <laughs> I respect this stuff greatly. <laughs> I love it. It, it. It's one of the only silvers I will not clean, all right? The, this stuff earned, <laughs> earned the tarnish, earned the dirt. Wow, we got walkers. Man, I love the ooh, nice shiny corner here. Cool. So anyway, by one estimate, more than 13 billion of these coins are spread around the country. Now, if they have no key dates or errors, the half dollar, the quarter dollar, and the dimes can be purchased at just a few percentage points above spot. Rule of thumb. Uh, let's see, a buck, a buck 40. Face value of 90% silver is very close to one troy ounce of silver content. And I recently scored $150 of face value in 90% silver. You're looking at some of it right here. <laughs> Especially the walkers. I didn't have a lot of walkers. I got a whole tube of them. Really love it. Filled up some more Benjis. Check it out. We are doing our own, uh, what is it, Black Friday special I would here? I say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. You're, you're from Maine, right? Yep. And you came. We met halfway. So what are we doing here? It's a lot of constitutional what? With junk. Another V75. Oh man. Do you, have you seen what they're going for like as of today? No. No. They were 300 bucks now. That sounds about right. Yeah, they're, they're dropping. dropping. They're, yeah, dropping. they're dropping. And and I advise people to yeah. get the flip in while they can, but yeah. this stuff. Whoa. What are we looking at for face here, Dave? 150. 
a hundred and fifty dollars face. It's pretty much full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you have your own little personal guardhouse box building here. Yeah. You get half uh, half dollars, right? Yep. These are your quarters. Yep. Nice. And lots of dimes. Dimes. I love dimes. Oh, I do too, man. Rosies that, and Mercs. So. That's that's how I started with the dimes, man. That, with my dad, that was the best. And you know, I I, I would build rolls, eBay, local coin shop. Oh, yeah. And over time, you just you don't realize how fast it builds up. You know, so yep. it's just like whoa, it does. It's like because I'm kind of a new stacker, like maybe a year yeah. and a half. Okay, good, there. good for you. And uh, fun journey, isn't it? I tell you what, this is the most addictive savings I've ever done. <laughs> now, now tell me and everyone else, why are you selling this? Because I normally, I I ask and yeah. I don't want, and you can be as specific or as general as you want, but yeah. I, I I tell people buy it, but don't exactly. sell it, right? Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. like, I don't want to sell it, oh. but you know, I want to help my dad out because you know, cancer and you know, you just mm. don't know about tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And this, I'm, I'm a lifelong stacker, so this will come back at some point. Okay, you know good, good. Now these are Mercs, right? Yep. Do you mind what me counting? Uh, are those Mercs? I mean, they could Do you mind me I've... taking a quick count of, of a roll? Yeah, go for All it. I right, yeah. appreciate it. Making absolutely sure I had the right amount in there. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah. So, I mean, isn't this community awesome? Being That's able right. to get together and to do something like this? Yeah, no, it's it's, it's Generosity? Yeah, 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 it's I, definitely great. And you haven't always had that experience. No, I like I said, like I've been I've been hustled before, and it, like not on. Wow. Well, you go to the antique shops, you go to flea markets, right? They're all over the place. It's supposed to be up in Maine, anyways. But um, <laughs> I mean, I got hustled on some key stalls and Morgans. You know, there I just didn't know about them at all. You know, but the community over time, you know, mm. like spectacular. Isn't like it? Spag, he's yeah, awesome. Spag, he's a yeah, Bag, yeah. guy, you know. Yeah. Like, watch out for this and watch out for that. <laughs> Very like, helpful. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned you it. mentioned Salivate Metal. Yeah, Sal, he's awesome. Yeah. There's yeah. Some there's some. <laughs> yeah, and then you did did that box, that giveaway, that huge yeah. giveaway. Yeah, the Yankee box. Yeah. And I, I definitely, because you look on the map to subscribe when I was going through, it's like, <laughs> I know this person, this one. I don't know this person, but you, you meet more people. You yeah. Know, it was a pretty good way to. That was fun. Kind of introduce people. That it was, was fun. a lot of fun. Thanks again for coming down here. Yeah, It's been you. fun talking with you. Yeah. With some silver bullion often commanding premiums of like 20 to 50% or more, constitutional silver can give you an immediate 25 to 30% discount over other types of silver coins. And as I've said in the past, as a prepper stacker, I actually believe that an additional 10% bonus is possible during or after an SHTF scenario. As education over what silver coinage is and how it can be bartered grows, I think many might simply just lump these coins in with three nines fine silver bullion and just treat it like silver. Who knows? But in addition to that 20% to 30% discount that I mentioned when you buy junk, I see four other reasons to own these coins alongside, you know, government minted silver bullion. I, I still love government minted silver bullion, but I'm going to give you four reasons why I think you should have it. So first is recognizability. Mm. These coins are well known by collectors, stackers, older Americans. The fact is you rarely find them in day-to-day -day circulation because people, especially on the older side, but you know, people have already gone through their change looking for them. I'm sure there are some coin roll hunters out there in our community that are watching this video right now. In fact, put CRH in the comments below right now. In fact, the 10th and the 20th person who puts CRH in the comments below We'll get a silver quarter. I'll just pull one out right there. Here's one. Here's two, right? The 10th and 20th person, all right? C-R-H, <laughs> okay, for coin roll hunters. I'm not a coin roll hunter anymore. I, I used to do it as a kid. It's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people do it. They get <laughs> boxes and boxes of these half uh, dollars and just go through them to try to find 90% silver or even 40% silver. So recognizability. As I've mentioned before, as demand increases for silver, even more people are going to come to recognize these coins. The second reason why I think you really should be stacking these things is that they're fractional. 
Unlike silver bars, constitutional silver coins are already split up into smaller amounts. Very handy if we have to use this for barter one day. And you don't have to pay ridiculous premiums on most fractional silver bullion coins. Don't do it. Get this for your fractional silver coins. That's the second thing. The third thing, the third reason why you really should be stacking this stuff is liquidity. There has always been a demand for this type of silver. Dealers will take them, eBay, our community, right? Plenty of buyers out there. And if you ever need to cash out like David did, you're going to find buyers. And finally, the fourth thing is trust. And I've said this before. I'm going to pull a, uh, I'll pull a Benji up. You don't need to verify the authenticity of this coin. Look at that. A 1952 Benji. In God we trust. Liberty. Right? There's a Liberty Bell. United States of America. Half dollar. All this stuff right here is important when it comes to to trust. Yeah, there are counterfeits, but they're usually counterfeits of rare mintage. Numismatic coins, that's the most common counterfeit of U.S. coins. This stuff has no collectible value. And the various images that I pointed out, okay, that is what the U.S. Mint put on this. They act as a natural hallmark that inherently assays the silver content in this coin. It establishes trust. You know, those that are watching um, from Europe know what a hallmark is. They know what assaying their silver means. They need to do that in order to uh, you know, prove that it truly is silver and the content that is in it is genuine. But when you get something like this, you can trust that this really is what it says it is because of the inherent hallmarking that goes on from the U.S. Mint. So, again, the final thing is trust. For me, constitutional silver is and always will be a key leg of the three-legged stacking stool that is part of stacking the Yankee way. Okay, I hope you will continue to stack constitutional silver. If you haven't already, start right now. Maybe you did on Black Friday. Please let me know. Like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and leave a comment on what you think of constitutional silver. And as always, I hope your day is a-okay.